I've got a clue for kids 20 to 2. It's really big news, you have the power to choose. Peanuts or cashews, sandals or shoes. It's really big news, you have the power to choose. You have the power to choose. You have the power to choose. Cha cha cha. That was brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's right. We do have the power to choose. You have the power to choose. And you have the power to choose exactly what's about to happen in this story. What should Danny do? Well, this could turn out any of eight different ways because you and I are going to choose what Danny's going to do. And we see the consequences of his actions. So, you know, if we try to make the best decisions, we're going to get the best outcomes. And if we make so, so decisions, we're going to get so, so results. Am I right? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I always try to make the best decision. Uh, so do I, but with varying results. Yeah, well, you know, you are a work in progress, Green Bear, as we all are. So what should Danny do on school day? Well, let's just wing it. Let's just see, because we have the power to choose. The power's in our hands with this book. Very exciting stuff. Oh, we have the cast of characters already here. We got a Mario and an Emma and a, and a Jonah and a Leo and an Alexis and a Jakey. There's Danny, Parker, Aubrey, Maddie, Bruce. Wow, there's a big cast here. Ooh, look at that, an autographed copy. <gasps> Do the authors love kid time story time? Take a close look there. Yes, they do. Look at the little heart. Happy reading. That's for us. Happy reading. So we read What Should Danny Do before. This is the school day version. So we know that the arrow is turned to the next page. The question mark, turn to the page that your choice says to go and continue reading from there. And then this shows you which page you came back from. So only use it if you want to go back and change your last choice. Okay. Okay. So like if we want to do over because we don't like the way something turned out. Oh, if only we had those in life, right? Oh, I will study for that test extra. Oh, I will go to bed earlier so I can get up in the morning not feeling like a truck hit me. And end number one. That means you have reached the end. One of eight different endings. And to reach another ending, start at the beginning and then make different choices and try to reach all eight. Okay, Danny, here we go. Hi, my name is Danny and I'm a superhero in training. I have lots of cool superpowers. Hey, I have some superpowers too, reading, singing, writing. But what are yours, Danny? I wanna hear about you. I can make myself invisible. Nice. I'm super strong. Artsy. I have x-ray vision. Ooh. You can see chocolate through bags. Green Bear wants that gift. And even though learning how to fly is harder than I thought it would be, I'm not giving up anytime soon. Good, we never give up. Arrow, keep it going. I've been testing a superpower called the power to choose. Choose, 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 choose at home. And today I'm gonna practice it at school with this power to choose, 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 choose. I can change my day by changing my choices. Oh man, that is so deep. You don't even know, kid. That is super important. The minute that you make your choices, you are shaping your day. And the way you shape your day is the way you shape your future and your life. Today is a special day because you'll be making choices for me. This is exciting, a lot of pressure. We gotta, do, we gotta do a really good job here. When you reach an ending, you can start over and change your choices. Then we'll see how powerful the power to choose, 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 choose really is. Ready, ready, let's go. Oh man, this is gonna be exciting. Oh no. This morning, I was caught by the evil Dr. Ninjario. But have no fear, after a hundred thousand minutes, I'm finally on the brink of escaping. His laser beam dungeon doo, 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 is no match for me. Danny, it's time to get ready for school, mommy calls out. Oh man, I'm busy trying to escape from Dr. Ninjario. If I stop now, I may never get out. Oh, what should Danny do? Oh no, the choices are so hard. So does he continue playing? Or does he stop playing and get ready for school? 
well, I want to keep playing, but if I think about it, he could keep playing when he gets home. Nobody is going to dare step into the laser beam dungeon so he can beat it when he gets back and the dog, his pet, will keep an eye out. So it's kind of hard to tear away, but let's go to page 20. No, let's go to page 36 and get ready for school because that seems like that's the right thing to do because, well, mom said it's time to get ready for school and school is our priority on school days, not playing. I'm having so much fun, but I know I can beat Dr. Ninjario later. Good thinking. I get ready quickly and get ready for school. Then I remember that today is show and tell. Ooh, that's right. I put Webster, my tarantula, in his travel cage and pack him a crunchy cricket for lunch. Mmm, crunchy cricket. My best friends Maddie and Jakey get a sneak peek on the bus. Show and tell is a blast. The whole class is mesmerized. And they ask so many questions. What does Webster eat? Does he bite? Does he sleep? Does he poop? When I tell them I brought a cricket, they all bang to watch me feed it to Webster. Cricket, 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 cricket. Look at that class, look how fun. Does it look like your class at all? Look at the cubbies with the books and notebooks and pencils and there's drawings and you are loved and there's a date there and lessons. Ms. Blakely, there's her computer. He's feeding him, okay. Later at recess, I run straight out to the soccer field. Uh Ooh, Parker is playing. I'm a little scared of him. Hmm, is it that scary looking dude right there? We start the game and Parker quickly scores three goals on Albert. Ha ha, three goals in three minutes, he says. You're the worst goalie ever. Albert cries and runs off the field. Oof. A few minutes later, Maddie tries to stop the ball. It rolls right under her foot and goes straight into the goal. Parker yells at Maddie, you're worse than Albert. Why don't you go join him in the crybaby corner? Hmm, hmm, hmm. What should Danny do? This is gonna be important, y'all. Continue playing without responding or tell Parker to play nicely. I think we need to tell him because he's just gonna keep being a big bully. It's okay that he's big and he can play well, but it's not cool that he's mean to other kids. That's not cool at all. So we're gonna tell him to play nicely. That's what Storyteller would do. I mean, I feel very, very strongly about this. So let's go to page 14. I'm a little scared of Parker, but then I remember I'm a superhero. If I don't stop him, who will? I think I need a sidekick for this mission though. Hey, Jakey. Let's go tell him to stop, I say. Okay, as long as we go together. I summon up my super bravery and walk up to Parker. If you aren't nice to us, we won't play with you, I say. Yeah, Jakey says. Then Maddie, Micah, and Josh say they won't play with him either if he isn't nice. And Parker is surprised. I don't care, don't play. So we all go over to the next field to start a new game. And just before we start, Maddie gives me a hug. Thanks for standing up for me, Danny. But then I see Parker all alone. I know I'd feel sad if I didn't have anyone to play with. Maybe Parker just needs a friend. Hmm, now Parker's blue. I run over to him. Hey Parker, we want you to play, I say. We just want you to play nicely with everyone. I don't want to play, he says. Well, you're one of the best players. We want you back, I say. I'm not in the mood, Parker says. Here, this might help, I say. You can wear it for the rest of recess. Ooh, he's giving him the power to choose cape. We run back to the field. Parker's really nice for the rest of the game. I wonder if it's my cape that did the trick. Hmm. Well, they do say that sometimes it takes, uh, you have to be a friend to get a friend. So maybe he just needed to feel friendship to give the friendship back. I think I messed up that saying completely, but I think you know what I mean. We do unto others as we would have them do unto you. The golden rule, treat other people the way you want to be treated. You gotta stand up for him, stand up to him, stop the bullying, protect your friends, and then tell him that if he comes back and is a nice guy, we can play together. Later, my super muscles beg to be recharged. Luckily, it's lunchtime. I see Leo sitting all by himself. Huh, he looks sad. If I stop to ask him what's wrong, it might take too long till I get to eat and my super muscles won't like that. What should Danny do? Pretend not to notice Leo's sad? 
Or ask Leo what's wrong. Oh man, I'm starving. But it's not like I'm gonna die of hunger or anything like that. I guess I could wait just a few more minutes. Yeah, let's let's go see what's wrong with Danny. I can't, I just lose my appetite if I see somebody who's sad and, and alone and needs help. What's wrong, Leo? I forgot my lunch at home. My tummy hurts so much. Ugh, I know how that feels. Last time I forgot my lunch at home, my super power tank emptied really fast. I have an idea. I tell my friends and they all agree. So we each give him a small part of our lunch so we still have plenty left to eat. But then he has enough too. Wow, Leo says, you guys are so nice. Seeing how happy Leo is because of what we did reminds me that kindness is one of my most powerful superpowers. Kindness. It's so easy to use and it can make others so happy. See, so if everybody gives a little bit, everybody still has plenty to eat. And we've helped our fellow man or our fellow kid in this case. Nice volcano poster. We must be in old science class. After lunch, it's time for science. Score. I love science. Last week, we built volcanoes, and today, we get to make them erupt with slimy lava. I'm so excited that I get started right away. Ooh, slime oozing volcano. Slime oozing volcano. Everybody has a slime oozing volcano? I never had a slime oozing volcano in school. I feel shortchanged now. I mix the ingredients, but when I pour in the vinegar, huh, nothing happens. I try again. This time I pour in half the bottle of vinegar, but still nothing happens. All around the room, kids start cheering as their volcanoes erupt. <laughs> I try mixing everything again and my slime feels perfectly gooey. I pour in the vinegar, but all I get is a stinky volcano that isn't erupting. This is so frustrating. I feel like giving up and just playing with my slime. What should Danny do? Keep trying to make his volcano erupt? Give up and just play with the slime. Let's see. I mean, I think we should just keep going for it. Why not? I mean, if at first you don't succeed, try again, try again, try again, try again, try again. I mean, it's how Storyteller has gotten a lot done. We just keep trying and trying and trying because, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. And I want to see that volcano erupt, don't you? Superheroes don't give up that easily. That's right, Danny. I start over, but this time, this time, I use my super focus to make sure my measurements are precise. Oh, it looks like I left out the baking soda last time. Maybe that's why it didn't work. I pour the vinegar and wah! My volcano has the gooeyest, gloppiest eruption. The lava keeps oozing out. Whoa! Glug, 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 glug. Ms. Blakely comes over to me and says, Danny, I saw that you had to remix your slime a few times. I'm proud of you for continuing to try hard even though things weren't going your way. Thanks, Ms. Blakely. Blakely. Jakey comes over to my table and we play with each other's slime. Oh, see? Bonus! He got the thing to erupt and he gets to play with slime. Best of both worlds. Later, Ms. Bakley calls for everyone's attention. Attention! Attention! Everybody quiets down. Someone in this class made some excellent choices today. After recess, Maddie told me about how he helped convince someone to play nicely with everyone else. At lunch, I saw him gather food for someone who forgot their lunch at home. Hmm. Could she be talking about me? Miss Blakely continues. I, I keep wanting to say Bakley, but it's Blakely. Just now, he worked extra hard on a science project and chose to not give up. This person definitely used their power to choose, 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 choose wisely. So he deserves to be the P2C star of the week. Danny Miller, please come up to accept your award. The entire class <laughs> score. This is awesome. Star of the week, P2C, power to choose. Danny, when I get home, Mommy is so proud of me. She even lets me invite Jakey and Maddie over to test out my new zip line. This must be how superheroes feel when they, fly, when they fly high above the city after a day of hard work. I hear that's exactly how they feel, Danny. That's exactly how they feel. 
Watch where you're going, meanie. Well, wait, what happened? Oh no, that's it. Oh, I almost started another story by mistake. I was so excited. <gasps> End number one. And that was the power to choose, 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 choose. As you saw, I made choices that I thought were pretty strong. Choices about what now? About not giving up. About putting my needs aside to be kind to someone in need. Also, to be brave. That's a really good lesson. I really need to work on that. You're the bravest. You're the kindest. You're, you're my best friend, dog, and I think you're perfect. Thank you, Green Bear. And I think you're pretty awesome, even though sometimes you don't always make the right choices. Thanks. Thanks, Dr. Dinosaur. He's absolutely true and honest with me. And, and he helps me always make the right decisions. Yes, that is what we are here to do. Help one another be the best people that we can be. Or in your case, the best dinosaur. And in your case, the best Green Bear. And in their case, oh, the best kid. Yeah, the best kid. Because the best kids are kids are short time kids. He gets very excited. I do too. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time, where we encourage you to use your power to choose for what, Doug? For good. Good, 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 good. That's like an echo. Pretend it's an echo. For good, 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 good. good.